Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're going to be having so today what we're going to be doing is playing some Lone Star. We're going to be going over the five best brawlers for Lone Star. Now this is just my opinion and based on what I have seen at high trophy gameplay. Um, obviously this is very good for pushing because if you don't have to rely on randoms like most of you unfortunately have to then um, this can be really, really good for you guys. So we're just gonna start this off really quickly, do no more explaining. We're gonna hop into the game and show you guys the number five brawler for Lone Star. Okay, so coming in at number five, we're gonna be having Daryl. Now, Daryl is a really, really good brawler, obviously all around, we've done some videos on Daryl before, but Daryl is also super good for Lone Star. So in Lone Star, you're gonna be seeing a lot of Mortises, a lot of Bs, Daryls pretty often, Leon, etc. cetera. Um, but Daryl's actually a really, really good assassin brawler. Oh, that was a little bit of an interesting roll there. I'm gonna go down. But we did pick up the first star, so we're third. So Daryl obviously can just roll on anybody and get easy, easy, easy kills. Um, unless it's like a Shelly, you're gonna get the kill basically guaranteed. And obviously your super charges just by you standing. So that's obviously super good. Um, going after a Shelly probably isn't the strat. So we're just gonna move to the side. She does have super now, so we're gonna move over. We haven't really gotten a kill yet. Gonna try and get close to the Shelly and finish it off. There we go, we're gonna be able to kill the Shelly. So even the direct counter, you're actually able to kill decently well. I wouldn't go for it, but you definitely can get the kills on it 100%. So as Daryl's gonna roll onto us, we're also gonna roll, and we should be able to get that kill. There we go. So we're in third place right now. Not doing amazing, but not doing terrible either. Uh, there's a Mortis and a colt here so we're probably gonna go right here towards it and there we go we're able to get the kill so we're currently in second place we got five stars on our head so going down to someone will obviously give them a lot of uh points so just gonna move over here there is a fellow daryl over here another one up here as well there we go we're able to get the kill so that puts us into the second spot six stars above our head so we do have a fairly big bounty on us gonna roll onto this daryl Get some shots off. He's going to roll away. We're just going to roll on him again. And that should secure a kill. It does. And that gives us the number one spot. So we're doing pretty good with Daryl right now. Uh, kind of close to our super, but not really. Okay, so we're in second now. We've got an AFK Mortis, I guess. So we're able to pick up that kill. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And there we go. We're able to get the number one spot for our fifth best brawler in Lone Star. So, so far, a pretty good start for us. Let's hop into the next game and show you guys what the number four brawler in Lone Star is. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And the number four brawler that we have for Lone Star is going to be Mortis. Now, Mortis obviously is really, really, really good at stealing kills. And that's what he's especially um, on this list for. He doesn't counter too many of the brawlers on this list, to be honest, but he does do a really good job at stealing kills, and obviously that's very important in Lone Star. So he's gonna get a little bit of a higher spot than Daryl. So we're able to get a kill over there. We're gonna get into the first spot. Obviously, Mortis is really good when you have the star powers. Um, it's a little bit tough without star powers. So um, if you don't have a star power, perhaps don't use him. But if you have any of the star powers, I can definitely recommend him. Damn, we're gonna miss the bats over there. That's quite unfortunate. But I think we would have gone down even if we got the one hit, which is why I went for multiple. There is a Poco right over here, so we're gonna try and get close to him. He's not gonna shoot us yet. There we go, he's gonna take a shot. He gets his super. He's gonna use it a little bit early though, so perhaps we can pick up a kill. No, we're not gonna be able to, so at least we're one shot off of our super, which is basically the key to getting a lot of kills. But we're in fifth, sp uh, fifth place, which obviously isn't too good. Uh, we're gonna try and get closer to this bow. That's a lot of bow mines. Definitely gotta stay out of that. Gonna get that kill over here. Wow, we have four stars, and that's gonna put us into second, so that's pretty interesting actually. Oh, we're going to go down here. Third place. So that crow is definitely in first at the moment. Fourth, but we're probably going to go down very, very quickly since we only have four. Brock right over here. Pretty good matchup for us. We're going to go over here and try and steal some kills. We're able to steal one. Ooh, we're going to go down over there, but we do have the third spot. So things aren't looking as good as they were with Daryl. But maybe we can make something happen towards the end here. We do have our super, so we're going to move around over here. Um, don't see anybody yet. 18 seconds left. There is the crow, so that would obviously be a huge kill. Gonna get one, two. Oh, we missed our first dash. That's extremely unfortunate. That's gonna put us at the sixth spot. Seven. Wow. So that wasn't very good. So obviously, obviously, that wasn't a good game. But 
Um, we do show you guys all the games. We like to be real with it. Mortis is a little bit more tricky. We didn't really have that many good um, circumstances in that game to steal kills. Mortis is definitely better than seventh place, but you guys saw what I was able to do with Daryl and Mortis. You guys can make your own decisions. Let's hop into number three and show you guys what the third best Lone Star Brawler is. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And the number three brawler on our list is going to be Leon. Now, Leon, I don't have to explain. You guys know exactly what's good about Leon. The invisibility is super good. You can sneak up on anybody. And just like Mortis, really epic at kill steals. Um, and obviously, you know, his supers... His supers are a little bit difficult because of star powers. Now, it's totally dependent on the player. Usually, I go with speed. But as of late, I've been going with the regen one. Uh, I'm probably going to go back to speed just because I like to use it off the start. Like you guys are seeing right here. Going to be able to get a kill, though. Uh, trying to charge our super again off of this mortis There is a needle right over here Should take out this bear as quickly as possible Gonna be able to take it out Rico right on us. We're not gonna be able to get the kill I definitely do regret not using the speed star power, but it should be fine. So early on in the game We are seven, but with Leon you definitely have to get super before he becomes too useful so that is probably why you're seeing us not do well right now. We're able to get a kill and it's going to put us into third. We're going to use our super here and the heal is actually coming into use. We should be able to kill this penny right over here. She has no clue we're in here. Okay, there we go. And that's going to give us a first place. Hitting that Nita. Ooh, that Nita's in first place now, I believe. But it's looking pretty good in second, third. Oh, there's a lot of kills going on. We're going to be moving down. Going to go invisible and just chase this Brock over here. Saw some shots over here, so we're just going to try and sneak in this bush. We are going to be able to. And there we go. That's a six-star kill. So that was really, really good. Going to put us back into first place. 43 health. Going to be able to pick up that kill. And so we have 18 stars now, so it's looking really good. Hopefully, we can secure one more kill before the end of this game. Going to go invisible. Just head towards the middle. Sneak in this bush, gonna be able to kill this Rico. Able to get the kill, 21 stars, and that is going to give us first place. So that's pretty good. You guys saw what's really good with Leon. Uh, only one time where there was the regen star power really actually useful. So I would definitely recommend using the other one. I usually prefer it, I tried it out. Uh, this one out didn't work as well. But, uh, but yeah, that's going to be the number three brawler. So let's hop into the next game, and we're going to go on to the number two Lone Star Brawler. And I really wanted to put him at number one, but unfortunately I can't because number one is just too strong. So let's hop into the next game and show you guys what the number two brawler is. Okay, so here we go into the next game, and coming in at number two is my favorite brawler in Brawl Stars. We are talking about the homie, Gene. So Gene, obviously, I don't even have to talk about... Um, you guys know I absolutely love him. Um, I play him all the time competitively and ladder when I can. Gene is just super amazing and that also goes for Lone Star. So Gene obviously can basically kill anybody in Lone Star. He doesn't really get countered by much, especially in the Lone Star meta. So you guys can see we're in first place. And I'm very comfortable playing with Gene here. So this should be a piece of cake for us. Um, hopefully this Poco doesn't get super. Oh, it did, but we're still able to get the kill. Uh, we're going to go down over there second place, but that's fine. We're just working it in. So Gene, what you're supposed to do with Gene is basically just get close to people. And if they're under, or close to brawlers, I should say. And when they're under 4.2k HP, you just use your pull and you're able to get the kill. Uh, obviously, really good at kill stealing because of his pull. Oh, he might go down over here, actually. Oh, I didn't know we were near a corner. Just going to get the triple auto aim on. That's going to get us a kill. Going to give us first place. We're going to have to hit this bow one time. Or we can auto aim him three times because of our star power, which gives us the extra damage. Going to move over here because we see that Leon has a lot of HP. Not able to get the kill, but we're just going to pull this Colt really close to us. We almost go down, but we're not going to. Going to get our super right back. Going to try to get that Poco to shoot a shot. He's going to. Colt goes for the clips. He's not able to get the kill. We're able to get three shots off, so even though we go down, we have 13 stars with 30 seconds left, so things are looking really good. Still in first place, and we're going to come back one shot off of super. So, just going to hit this crow one time, going to get our super. Oh, there's a gene hiding in there. He's going to get a kill. It looks like he's got a ton of stars too, so he actually might be able to take the lead on us, which is obviously scary. Uh, this Brock is just going to spawn over here. He's going to be able to pick up a kill. I'm just going to walk up to it, get that double auto aim, get that kill. Uh, hopefully I can get this one too. There we go. We got 21 stars. The gene is right there He's probably right behind us in second place, but we're gonna get another win So you guys saw just how dominant gene was gene is super super good 
Um, definitely underrated when it comes to Lone Star, but the number one brawler is way above and beyond Gene or anything that any of these brawlers can be. So let's hop into the next game and show you guys what the number one Lone Star brawler is. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And in, in number one, in the number one place, of course we got Brawl TV for this one. We have B. Now B obviously is an amazing, amazing, amazing brawler in the current meta. It's just absolutely running Brawl Stars as of late really 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 strong we're gonna go down over here but let's just get into the game a little bit b with honeycoat specifically is absolutely amazing now the other star powers are good but if i had the first star power or gene i would probably choose gene instead um but nonetheless this is still an amazing brawler i would definitely recommend playing it on uh on this uh on this mode it just absolutely runs it and I'm, I'm a little bit rusty with it right now. I haven't played it in a little bit, but we're probably going to end up in first place somehow. But you guys can see we're at 800 trophies with B because that's what that's what we read to reset to at the start of the season. And literally everybody at this trophy level is playing B. You guys are seeing almost everyone run it. Um, I feel bad for this Jesse over here because she has to deal with all these Bs. I'm going to shoot into the bushes there. Oh, it's just a Jesse turret. It was a bad shot then. Probably going to go down over here, going to get a shot at that B, going to be able to get the kill. So we're in fourth place, fifth place, not doing too, too well as of yet. Going to move up over here. Jesse is over here, going to get some shots off, going to use the super. And we're going to be able to kill the Jesse. So we're in first place right now, but probably not by much since there's a ton of Bs and they're probably doing well. As I say that, we get second place. We're going to be able to kill this Leon over here, which is going to give us that first place. Daryl is right over here. Oh, really good roll by that Daryl, actually. We're going to be able to get one kill. Um, that Leon's going to get the other one, though, unfortunately. Going to get a shot off. Not going to be able to get the kill. I feel like a lot of my kills are being stolen there. Be able to get another one. Another one. This Jesse's going to go for the kill on us. We're going to try and run away. Still on the run. 1 HP, and there we go. We're going to finish the game in first. So he came first every single game except for one, which was with Mortis. Um, if I were to give an honorable shout out, I would give one to Piper. If you're tapping with Piper, fuck. don't mind that, guys. If you're tapping with Piper, I definitely would recommend using it. But anyways, that is going to be it for the game um, or for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm sorry for that call and if I broke anybody's ears. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.